Hi, so I recently posted a video which showed how to get Battle Pass XP fast and one of the comments under that video asked if it was also possible to do so if one didn't have all of the legendary heroes. So what I've done is I've hopped onto one of my other accounts and I'm going to try and run a mission and see how quickly I can get Battle Pass XP without using legendary heroes uh, with low power level as you can see this account is only at power level 16 uh, and with blue heroes so I'm going for a constructor loadout so I've got power base knocks to heal structures for 4% every 10 seconds I've got lofty architecture which increases the building health by 28% I've got fleet so I can move faster and survivalist so I get a bit of healing with every hustle that gets killed. I've got recycling in as the team perk, but it's not gonna do anything because I've only got one constructor in my loadout. And then for the weapons, I've got a power level 15 short blade slicer. It's the only melee weapon I've got that's leveled up at all on this account. I've got a blue AR and I've got a green sniper rifle to shoot down the balloon as quickly as possible because I'm gonna go for a retrieve the data mission again. Now all of these heroes are low level. I don't think any of them have been leveled up at all. And they've all been obtained out of llamas or from completing mission alerts on this relatively new account. So here we go, as before, I'm looking for a low level mission. As you can see, I've got this power level five, retrieve the data. I've already run this once today, just to make sure I know exactly what I'm doing uh, with this low level account and I'm making sure that I've got the mission set to private. So the time is ticking away up at the top. Remember, it doesn't matter what power level mission you do of the same type, you can get the same amount of XP. So doing a power level one mission will give you the same amount of battle pass XP as doing a power level 160 four player recommended equivalent mission. Once again, as soon as I load into the mission, I'm going to be looking up into the sky to make sure I find the balloon and then moving towards that balloon as quickly as possible. The reason being that I want the second set of Ray's dialogue to start as quickly as possible and that doesn't happen until the balloon has been located and you can't shoot the balloon down until she finishes that second set of spiel. coming up with gadgets to outsmart the storm. Well, that started an arms race. You know those rumors we've been hearing about an even more dangerous part of the storm? A corrosive storm that closes in on you, eventually swallowing you alive? Remember how I said that would never, ever, ever happen here? It's happening here. Landing site spotted. Nice find. We need to retrieve the data as usual, but this time we need to watch the storm. The storm will hurt you. A lot. You'll take damage when you're in the storm, so keep an eye on your health. We need to retrieve the data before we're overwhelmed by the storm, so you'll want to move quickly. We only have 20 minutes. Keep an eye on the storm's movement on your map. shoot the balloon down as quickly as possible. I then stood on top of the data and jumped from there to face the floor and then I put my base on top of it. Now the base affects structures to a certain distance around it. As you can see, it puts kind of a blue glow around those. And what that does is at absolute minimum is just give it 60 armor, which means it will take less damage from the hustles as they hit it. Uh, because I've got the commander perk from power base Nox, it's getting healed by 4% of its max health every 10 seconds. And it's also because of one of my support perks, it has 28% additional health 
as well. Okay, so this wolf is starting to annoy me slightly because it's uh, causing me a lot of damage. I'm going to try and tame it by throwing it a piece of meat and now it will fight for me and it will help to kill some of these husks. I've got nothing in this loadout that's going to automatically kill the husks. So I'm going to have to stay near the objective most of the time. I think I've got enough time to run over here and just see if I can pick up this quest item. As I say, this is a, one of my second accounts. So I've got a lot of missions and quests that I haven't yet done on it. And with the end of the venture season, less than a week away at the time of recording, it'd be good to get at least a few of them knocked out so I don't have to wait a full year for them to come around again. Okay, so there's another mission alert icon on the map, relatively close. I think I've got time to get over there. The wolf seems to be killing stuff off and not too many husks are spawning in this mission. something from one of the other quest lines, that's to do the Val or quest line, which will get you Val as a epic defender and Major Oswald as a hero. If you can it. And as you can see, these walls are taking quite a bit of damage, so we need to clear off these husks as quickly as possible. The wolf is killing some of the other husks, but it's also fighting a dinosaur. There's a chrome husky there. Now normally I would just leave the chrome huskies because unless you've got a fire or water weapon they will get back up again but because it's a very low level mission and I've got a tamed wolf. I'm going to kill the chrome husky once or twice until it stays dead because otherwise the wolf will keep fighting it and the wolf will end up just getting killed by it. Because this is such a low level mission, the Chrome Husky only gets up once or twice before it's fully dead, even if you don't kill it with a fire or water weapon. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm not going to be able to get the additional reward for exploring the map because I don't think that the structure will survive long enough without me here actively defending it. But I do have time to farm up all of the resources really that are available in the storm circle. Because the structure should stand up to the assault of the low level husks that are here long enough for me to go to farm. Just to try and replicate the early game as much as possible, I'm not using the supply drop or turrets that I've got because my supply drop and turrets on this account are leveled up higher than most people typically would be at this stage of the game because I've been able to get a decent number of levels from joining Endurance. They don't affect my power level, but they do increase my command level. And as you increase your command level, you do unlock more upgrade points. 
to my turret and my supplies a higher level than really at normal at this point, so I'm not going to use them. So all the walls are stood up well. The mini boss has been dealt with. Mini boss is spawning and retrieve the data on data file 10. If you build your defences around the data by using walls and floors and unedited floors, no ramps and no cones anywhere within three tiles, then the mini bosses will ignore it and come after you and smashes won't charge at it and propanes if you have them in your missions won't throw. At this level you don't normally get propanes or smashes but you have to be careful because occasionally a mini boss will spawn in this level of mission that is a smasher type mini boss and they will charge at your objective if you have built it using ramps or edited floors or cones or walls without walls. If you have plenty of resources, you could put traps up. A uh, ceiling gas trap above the walls will kill fast resistance there. And if that is the case and you have plenty of materials, you might be able to run around the map and get some of the other badges as well, the explore map, etc. We're on the last file now, and as you can see, absolutely nothing has got through those walls. It's not been a particularly difficult defence. I've switched to pickaxe now because weapon is nearly run out. And as you can see, against these husks, they're dying pretty quickly. So that's it, the mission is completely done. All 16 files downloaded. And we're running in around about 11 minutes at this point, so we just need to now collect up the rewards. End screens and click That's through. Job. The data you collected will help us locate survivors and weak points in the storm. just loading out of the mission now. Unfortunately there's no way that you can speed this up. I don't know if having a, a higher ping or a better processor will have any impact on that. There we go, we collect through all of the rewards and then we've got collection book rewards as well because we completed one of the early campaign missions and some gold for killing the mini boss. And there we are back in the lobby, 12 minutes, 2.8 seconds. And we earned a total of 37,900 battle pass XP. So we're looking at probably around about 170 to 180,000 battle pass XP per hour. And that's on a power level 16 account using only blue and green heroes and weapons. Thank you for watching.